some sad news last Wednesday. Uh, cleaning pioneer Don Aslett passed away. Do you know his story? I know that he's associated with the Museum of Clean. Yes, that's his. But I don't know anything else about his story. It's a six-story, 74,000-square-foot uh, Museum of uh -huh. Clean. Which has fascinated me for forever, and I still haven't gotten a chance to go in. Let's put it on our list. I would love to go we'll there. We'll go to the Museum of Clean and Confections Bakery and see Nathan. <gasps> Ooh, yes! Yeah, well, okay, do that. I... I love that idea. Hey, while we're at it, we should also stop by fucking tasty. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> they have great pho. Uh huh. At pho King Tasty. Yeah. They have even better tea. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. They do. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so Don passed away last Wednesday, 89 years old. Wow. He was, yeah. The only reason I know who he is uh -huh. is my mom bought his book, Clutter's Last Stand. Oh. He wrote over 40 books, this guy. Okay, that's pretty impressive. He was obsessed with cleaning. Uh-huh. We'll give you his cleaning tips here in a second. Well, I mean, he did live to almost 90. He must have been a pretty tidy fella. Yeah, well, and, <laughs> and speaking of the world coming to East Idaho, uh -huh. or East Idaho influencing the world, I suppose, uh -huh. uh, he was born in Twin Falls. Okay. Then he served a mission in Hawaii. Then he huh. went to ISU in Pocatello. Oh, nice. Started a cleaning company. Huh. Yeah, wow. which blew up. And okay. then the rest is history. But the only reason I know the guy is because of this book, Clutter's Last Stand. That's hilarious, by the way. My mom was the kind of gal who, when she had an issue, she'd go and buy a book about it Uh huh. and never read the book either. <laughs> wouldn't deal with the issue, wouldn't read the book. Bless but, her heart. But felt like she was doing something by buying the book. But she took a, yeah, she yeah. took a big step. <laughs> yeah, and that was enough. <laughs> anyway... So um, he said your amount of time spent cleaning can be reduced by 75% if you do three things. Reduce clutter, get the right cleaning tools, mm -hmm. and make them accessible. Right. I totally agree with that. So yeah, don't throw your vacuum in the back of a bunch of boxes. Mm -hmm. You got to have it there. Oh, and take your shoes off at the door. Oh yeah, I could see that. 75% if you do those four things. Yeah. Reduce clutter, I right certainly. cleaning tools, make them accessible, shoes off at the door. I certainly need to do those things. <laughs> <laughs> I really do. I'm pretty good. You're very good. About shoes at the door and that mm -hmm. kind of stuff. You know, I could definitely be better at shoes at the door. Um, my biggest thing really is just that I've got kind of a lot of stuff that I need to go through. Um, you know, I had a a bigger space back when I was married and I had to condense it all down to a smaller space. And I basically was like, well, I know I've that got feel, bro. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, well, I've got a month to get out of here. So instead of going through the stuff now, I'm going to go through it once I get to my final destination and we'll figure it out then. And uh, so I've been slowly trying to go through that. And I feel like I've, I've purged quite a bit. I've seen you purge. Yeah, yeah. You've done very well. I think so. But I definitely still have a long, long, long way to go. <laughs> what I like to do in between Christmas and New Year's, usually, mm -hmm. that's when I had like real dedicated time off. Mm. I like to clean like I'm moving. Yeah, that'd be nice. Start with one room mm -hmm. and get rid of everything I haven't used, you know, for a mm -hmm. few years. Something I can't imagine needing in a new place. Right. And then just, you know, scrubbing the shit out of CLRing the entire bathroom. Right. That kind right. of thing. I guess my only other cleaning tip would be. Get a cordless vacuum. Those are nice. I realized that half of my aversion to vacuuming was just that damn cord. Right, Unwinding right. it and winding it back up. So really making the cleaning tool accessible to you was getting rid of the cord. Yeah. Yeah, that's Get, fair. It was, it was the right cleaning tool. Mm -hmm. One thing I wanted to point out, by the way, the My Discovery Kids Museum is actually in the Museum of Clean. Oh, cool. Yeah. So, Don Aslett, for showing the world how to clean from Pocatello, Idaho. You are IFAF this week. Mm -hmm. Chris Pie 5. Whoosh. Whoosh. 21 finger gun Yippee. salute. And chef's kiss. To you. No notes, no cap, no kidding. Rest in peace. <laughs>